I did not want to make this video, but you know what people are like. People are always saying that men need to speak up when they're going through things. So this is kind of my opportunity to speak up and let you guys know what's going on in my life at the moment. Now, I don't know whether this is going to go on the music channel, but it's most definitely going on to the gaming channel, the Bambi Select channel. I do have a music channel, which is quite inactive at the moment, but I do have a lot of things ready to go. And that is Temperjet. The link will be in the description down below. I probably will put it on, but I'm not too sure yet. But basically, I just want to talk about what's going on in my life and the recent diagnosis. I say recent, it was last year. Um, I'm not going to go too deep into it because there's a lot of variables and a lot that's happened over the time. But I kind of just want to come out and just, you know, let people know what's actually going on. Because doing this alone is not easy. Let me just say that. So at the end of last year, I got diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. Now, not a lot has happened over the year. But recently, about a week ago, I got diagnosed with active primary progressive multiple sclerosis. Now, this is what I believe to be one of the more aggressive variants of it. So you can get primary progressive, you can get relapse and remitting, you can also get like benign and things like that. But mine is active primary progressive, which I believe is one of the worst ones to have. Now, this is affecting my whole life. Some symptoms that I do get are extreme fatigue, I have balance issues. There hasn't been much change to the vision yet, but I believe that's the next thing to probably go. There's not a lot of change in there. It's just, you know, it, it does feel different, but I can still read and write perfectly well, you know what I mean? I get a lot of buzzing sensations, like even now. This whole thing just doesn't switch off. With primary progressive MS, it's more like a, a gradual decline in your, um, sorry about that. It's a gradual decline in your um, mobility and um, cognitive functions and things like that. I also get a lot of brain fog as well. So I am going through a lot of things, but um, this is not by any means trying to get any clout or any sympathy or anything like that because that doesn't really go with me. That's why I haven't really spoken out over things, you know what I mean, in the past. I I'm not about that. I just want to let people know what's going on so people have got more of an understanding what it is I'm actually going through. Now, I still am going to be trying to create loads of content and stuff like that. This is what I want to do, like this or music. Like, they're my two passions. I like gaming and I like uh, making um, music. So, they're the two things that I want to do with my life, ultimately. And getting a diagnosis like this makes you realise that, you know, you, you need to be putting a lot more into it to get something out of it. I, I mean, I'm rambling now. What am I trying to say here? What am I trying to say? Basically, I feel like I've wasted a lot of time now and this diagnosis is actually waking me up to say, look, you haven't got a lot of time to figure this out. I mean, oh my God, I'm getting this totally wrong, but MS is not like a terminal illness. Like people live healthy lives. I'm starting a new treatment next week called Ocrevus. It's a long name for it, but um, it's not a terminal illness by any means, but it is. The, it can be disabling, you know what I mean? Like I could have to walk with a cane in the future or be in a wheelchair. So, um, it's a lot to take in. I forgot where I was up to now, and this is the brain fog again, just kicking in. Like, I, I just lose track of what I'm doing and what I'm saying sometimes. It's affecting every single thing in my life. Like, work, life, home life, to an extent. Um, this, like, doing all this is exhausting, you know what I mean? So, like, if I make a video, I've got to make the video and then edit the video and then do the thumbnail and do everything on my own. Same with the music, I write the songs, then I'll have to do my own like artwork, release it myself, everything. It's just a lot to do. And don't get it twisted, like I've got like a lot of songs there ready to go. Pretty much an album's worth ready to go, you know what I mean? But um, going through all this, I just haven't felt ready to just release any of it. It's a, it's very personal to me, that stuff. This, this game and stuff is very easy to make videos on and just put it out there and not really care about it. But that stuff is a lot more personal and when I was going through all this, I wanted it to be perfect but the between like the brain fog and actually getting myself to actually do things, it was a lot harder to do. I don't know where I'm going with this video, I don't know why I'm doing this video but it's just something that I felt like I need to do at the end of the day. So if you've got any questions, leave them down below and I'm sure I can answer them for you if I know the answer in general, you know what I mean? So yeah, just a little video just to let you know what's going on and I'm not giving up. Like. I'm not just gonna, you know, back down and just let this defeat me. I've never been like that, you know what I mean? I'm always about like getting up, picking myself up and just like, it's like fuel for me. It makes me go even harder and stronger. So that's the plan. I just wanna, you know, take each day as it comes and just try and, you know, keep myself active. Uh, that's another thing I'm doing, to be honest. I'm doing swimming. Uh, I do a bit of cycling here and there. 
uh, plenty of walking, you know what I mean? And I'm also allowing myself to do things a lot more, like um, go and see friends and family and stuff like that, because beforehand, I was terrible for it, you know what I mean? Massive, massive introvert, but now I'm allowing myself to do all those things, so hopefully I'm gonna allow myself to release a lot more stuff as well. So it starts here, this is a big step for me right now, letting people know about my diagnosis and stuff like that, because I don't want people thinking any different of me either. And to be totally honest with you as well, I'm kinda freaked out at the prospect of actually releasing something like this, so yeah, I don't know what else to say to be honest, but yeah, I'm gonna keep this short because otherwise I'll just ramble on for the next half an hour, so yeah. Um, I'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy. Peace.